a great afternoon everyone oh my goodness well sitting here um, the countdown is on till I'm on the road again I'm thinking about heading up to uh, New England area I've never been up to Maine never been to New England uh, I've been to most every other place in the States but New England I haven't been to. So I'm kind of contemplating going up that way because I would like to see the fall colors uh, as they're changing before it gets winter. And uh, so at the moment that's kind of my thought, thoughts that I'm sitting with. Now I haven't uh, for sure made any you know, plans, you know how I am with plans. <laughs> I, don't, I don't make firm plans that I'm going to be here on this date and here on that date, and, and I just don't do that. Now, I did just have some guys, um, there was a thing they were talking about driving semis and going down these mountainous things so I gave him the information that I got that served me well when I was driving which I was told by an old driver that you crest the hill and you go down the hill in the same gear you crested in rather than these hot shot drivers that want to you know uh, go faster and, and uh, you know, then they get in problems. If you miss a gear, you can have severe problems. Also, what he told me, this served me well, with air brakes, you keep your foot lightly on the brakes the whole way. When you're pumping the brakes, you're putting air into those air brakes and it heats up and you get fires. That's how they get fires. That guy called me BS. I said, you could call BS all you want, but I never had a problem with, with hot brakes. Okay, never had a problem. So call BS, and he goes, you use a Jake brake. You don't use a Jake brake, okay? Uh, these, these guys, you know, and I see them get into trouble. They get hot brakes because you'll, you, if you're behind a semi, you see them, the lights going on and off, on and off. They're pumping those brakes. Then they, you see the brakes smoking and you smell this hot smell. That's how you lose your brakes. And that's why they have those turnoffs for trucks that lose their brakes. <clears throat> and they have to go off on that uh, thing because they have no brakes anymore because they've gotten hot. Okay. So I said, you can call BS all you want, but I never had hot brakes, and I drove from one end of the country to the other end of the country weekly, and I did a lot of mountainous things, and I never, ever had a problem with it, okay? So call BS all you want, but I speak from experience of driving, and... Uh, what that old trucker told me served me well when I was on the road. I'm still here, and a lot of the drivers are not, you know. I see these ones driving and um, doing really stupid things. You know, they go too fast down these roads. That's why you go down in the same gear you crested with. because it's got that, you know, you don't want to go too fast and build up speed when you're in a semi. You're, you're pushing, you know, there's a lot of weight behind you when you're fully loaded and it's pushing you down this thing. So you want as much braking power as you can have. And again, air brakes, when you pump them, you get air in that system and that heats up. And one guy goes, well, when you touch the brakes, they're going to get hot. So you, what are you talking about? Yeah, you're pumping the brakes. I'm talking about you keep your foot on that brake. And then it's not getting excess air in there that heats up, and, and then you have the problem. 
These fools don't understand what I'm saying whatsoever. They're men, they know better. <laughs> Good luck with that. Good luck with that. So anyway, um, I hope I'm not, uh, you know, in front of one of those fools going down a roadway sometime, down a mountain pass, because they're, they're danger on the road. So anyway, on that note, that's what's going on here. We're just about ready to maybe take off again. And um, yeah, I think it would be interesting to go up to Maine, to a place I haven't been before. Now I've been up to New York. When I drove semis, I drove and I picked up produce in California, drove all the way cross country, dropped off the trailers, uh, at the Canadian border there, up there in New York, and picked up a new trailer and would go to New Jersey and haul steel cable back. So, um, that was my weekly run. Every week, produce up, steel cable back. <laughs> yeah, steel cable is, is heavy. It's heavy. So I have, you know, stories and things. Um, I drove when there weren't many women drivers and encountered, you know, I encountered a lot of harassment and things. One place I went to go pick up, it was at a company picking up soup, soup, that type of thing, cans and stuff. And I get in there and I start to back up and these guys start harassing me. So I just pulled that brake, I jumped out of the truck, I said, okay, smart ass, you back it in there. Okay. I come back 10 minutes later, it's still, why is it still sitting here? Okay, shut up and let me do my job. <laughs> I get in and back it in. <laughs> then I drove for a while in San Francisco. Oh my God. I delivered, there's one Safeway store that was there, and you would have to, it, it, it was really narrow having to back that in to, to deliver the groceries things there. It was a Safeway, I remember that. And you have to go over these, uh, in the roadway, these cable tracks and, and up over the curbs and everything to be able to back into there. Driving in San Francisco, semis. <laughs> San Francisco was not built for semis, I'm telling you. So I have driven in, in San Francisco, and I just remember this one Safeway store that was just horrendous. Um, having to go up over these curbs and everything to be able to swing the trailer to, to back it in. And you had, you know, like this much room on either side of the trailer. <laughs> so you had to be absolutely precise to get that thing in there. And another one we had, now I had, was when I was doing the, a lot of the big cross-country stuff, um, the, there were two of us there, drivers, and the other driver was a guy. And uh, yeah, he was good. One would drive and the other would be trying to sleep as we're going down the road because the truck did not stop. It only stopped to get fuel. And you'd run in and grab something to eat and you'd hit the road again. So we got to the place and it was, I think it was the steel cable the first time. And they go, your girlfriend can't come in here. He goes, she's not my girlfriend, she's the other driver. Well, she can't come in, only one driver can come in. He hopped out of the truck and said, she goes in and picks up the load or it doesn't get taken. So he was really stand up and uh, I went in and picked up the load. We didn't have any more problem after that. But uh, yeah, there was a lot of discrimination when I was driving. Um, 
because again, there weren't many women drivers. That was back in like the 80s, you know, the early 80s when I was driving. So, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah, oh, the adventures. And the, the, the one truck I was driving, it was so bad, we called it the road commode. It was a white, you know, cab over, flat nose, and those things you're sitting on the engine. And it is the roughest ride, they are miserable. You know, you just looked at these ones with these long nose trucks and they rode smooth and you're in this thing getting beat to death <laughs> going down the road. Oh my Lord, that was crazy, crazy times. Oh. But, uh, you know, like I said, I've, I've been on the road many times and uh, I'm, I'm used to driving, okay, used to driving. I, I did drive semis for, for a while. <laughs> oh my goodness. So on that note, I'll leave that here, but that's uh, what I'm contemplating at the moment maybe going up to Maine because I have never never been up to that part. Now everything else I don't think there's I'm trying to think if there's another state somewhere I've missed but yeah no. I've been to Alaska, Hawaii, you know every other state in the continental US except for Maine. Vermont. I haven't been to Vermont. I haven't been to Maine. But the rest of them, yeah, I've already been to. So that's what I'm kind of contemplating now, where we might head to. We might head up to Maine.